hey guys if you are new here consider subscribing to learn more about the anatomy and also share it to your other friends if you like this so today we are going to discuss about the adrenal glands and they are also called as the suprarenal glands suprarenal just means that above the renal that is above the kidney so the suprarenal glands are important pair of endocrine glands they are part of the endocrine glands that you have to remember important pair of endocrine glands and they are situated on the upper poles of both the kidneys so if you have the two kidneys on either side they are situated on the upper part of both the kidneys and also in the same facial sheath as that of the kidney so the kidney is covered by the renal fascia right so same the renal fascia will also cover the both of the adrenal glands so each gland consists of two parts that we have to remember it consists of the two parts one is relatively thick outer cortex the first part is the thick outer cortex thick outer cortex and the second part you have is the thin medulla thin medulla which is on the inner surface so it consists of two parts we have the thick outer cortex then we have the thin inner medulla so this cortex is derived from the mesoderm mesoderm and this medulla is derived from the ectoderm so mesoderma lining of the peritoneal cavity from where this cortex is derived and the central medulla it develops from the neural crest cells neural crest cells from the ectoderm and it is equivalent to the sympathetic ganglionic cells because it releases epinephrine and norepinephrine that's why and the cortex secretes considerable number of steroid hormones and they are responsible for controlling of electrolyte and water balance and they are also helpful in maintaining the blood sugar concentrations helpful in the maintaining blood sugar concentrations they maintain the liver and the muscle glycogen stores also liver and the muscle glycogen stores and also they help in the inflammatory responses inflammatory responses electrolyte water balance the blood sugar concentration and also liver and muscle glycogen stores so these are all the work that are done by the hormones released by the cortex and the medulla is composed of large granular chromaffin cells we have the granular chromaffin cells which are situated in the medulla and these secrete catecholamines which are nothing but as epinephrine and norepinephrine and they are released by the post ganglionic sympathetic fibers so they are also stored in good quantity in the medulla and they are readily oxidized to a dark brown color by certain salts and they may be chromic acid such as potassium dichromate and uh, this feature makes the renal medulla a part of the chromaffin system of the body so that's about the cortex and the medulla of the adrenal glands now we will discuss about the location of the gland its shape and measurements and also we'll look at the external features of the glands so stick to the video till the end so we will learn about the location of the adrenal glands if you are interested about it so the suprarenal glands are they are located in the epigastric region of the abdomen epigastric region if you don't know the nine different regions of the abdomen i have another separate video on the introduction to the abdomen please watch that so it is surprisingly situated in the epigastric region of the abdomen and they are they lie anterior superior to the upper part of each kidney and the right suprarenal gland is wedge shaped the right gland is a wedge shaped organ and it is situated between the diaphragm and also the inferior vena cava and the left suprarenal gland it also lies between the diaphragm post, uh, posterior medially and also stomach in the front that's about the uh, left gland so this is about the location of both the glands uh, so discussing about the shape and measurements so each gland is flattened anterior posteriorly anterior posteriorly they are flattened and what you have to remember is that the right gland is triangular in nature and the left gland is semilunar in shape this is semilunar and the right gland is triangular in nature what about the measurements so basically the length of each gland varies up to 50 mm then we have the width of the gland it may be ranging up to 30 mm or 3 cm then we have the thickness of the gland which may be up to 10 mm or 1 cm you can call it and what about the weight of the adrenal glands it may be up to 5 g so they are the length measurements breadth and also weight of the glands and you should remember that at birth the gland is only about 1/3 of the size of the kidney but in adults it's about 1/30th of the size of the kidney so related to the body size the adrenal gland will remain almost constant so discussing about the external features what you have to remember from the adrenal glands 
so learning about the right suprarenal gland or right adrenal gland it has a base then it has apex and it has two surfaces anterior and posterior base apex and anterior and posterior surfaces that's about the right adrenal gland and it also presents with three borders we have a medial border lateral border and also a posterior border presents with three borders that you need to remember then the left renal gland what about the left suprarenal gland it has two ends we have a narrow end and a round lower end and it also presents with two borders uh, the medial border and the lateral border and presents with two surfaces same we have the anterior and the posterior surface so what you have to know is that the posterior surface of the right gland is divided into upper convex and lower concave parts that you have to remember and also about the posterior surface of the left gland it is divided into the medial and the lateral areas by a ridge that you need to remember about the extreme features of the gland oh, this is this is about the location and extreme features of the adrenal glands so thank you guys thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and if you find it helpful then i think it is worth sharing it to your other friends thank you so much